Welcome to the Astro Room. This is your very own portal to the cosmos. And in this video, I am going to show you my absolute top picks, my go-to accessories for your smart telescope, in particular for the C-Star S50. And now, please note that there will be timestamps in the description. So if there are some accessories here that you already know how to use, feel free to jump around, skip around, and go to the ones that you'd like to know more about. I will also be teaching you how to use them, okay? And also note that this video is in no way sponsored, okay? In no way is it sponsored. These are the accessories that I've gotten on my own that I use that have just made my life easier with the C-Star. And not only that, but some of these have also enhanced my images. So let's jump right to it. Also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Those of you that keep coming back to my channel, haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button right now. It's free, it's simple, it's easy. Let's get to it. And I'm going to start with something super basic and simple, which is super crucial. If you don't have this yet, you're going to want to get a dust cap, okay? Now, what's the point of dust cap? You might think, I mean, at the end of the day, when you close your C-star, right, it the lens goes all the way down and there possibly couldn't be getting any dust in there. But you know what? There is dust. Do you have an air purifier at your house and you notice how much dust it collects when you look at the filter? Uh, that's what's happening with your C Star, it's collecting dust all night, all day, every day when you just have it in storage, when you just have it up, you know, and you're not using it, it's collecting dust. So what you're gonna wanna do is get yourself a dust cap. A link is in the description. So, yeah, so with your dust cap, as soon as you're done imaging, you're gonna just, right, well, as soon as the C Star starts to close, you have your lens on there, it's not collecting any debris, right, uh, when you put it up. So yeah, definitely you, you want that dust cap. And remember, let's say you're gonna start imaging remember to take off your dust cap. And what's really cool now is with the new feature with the C-Star app is that now if you've up, done your update already, your firmware update, it has a manual uh, lens uh, moving uh, section on your homepage, right? Where you can manually move up and down your lens. So as soon as you're gonna start imaging again, turn on your C-Star, connect it, move your lens up and down so you can take off your dust cap okay super simple super easy let's move on to the next accessory um if you've ever deal with a lot of light pollution for instance where i live if you live in a Bortle seven like me Bortle eight what you're gonna want in addition to this makes a great dew shield is a light pollution blocker light pollution uh filter almost an extra one for your c star okay and it also acts as a dew shield, like I said. I'm gonna put it on here, okay? And uh, it fits nice and snug. And this is awesome because it's gonna make your images better. So like I said, if you live in super light polluted skies, and even if you live in, in skies that are not that light polluted, I would say still get it because it's gonna make your images even better. It's gonna enhance them. And you see what it's doing is it's acting like a light blocker, right? So all those lights won't come in. I use this when I'm doing anything. Even when I'm imaging the moon, I'm Im imaging deep space objects. Uh, I use this all the time. It's the first thing I put on as soon as I'm gonna start imaging with the C-Star. So uh, make sure you get this. This is uh, super awesome and uh, easy to use. One thing that you don't wanna forget, one thing you don't wanna forget is when you're done using this, uh, when you're done for the night with your images, remember to take it off, okay? Because it's happened to me where I leave it on, I go to my app, I press the slide to shut down, and I come back and I notice that this thing flew off. It just popped off, right, as the C-Star lens uh, automatically starts moving down to shut off. So just make sure that you remember to take it off every single time. Okay, something that I don't want to forget to show you when it comes to this light pollution blocker slash dew shield is that you can use simultaneously the anti-dew or the dew heater on your C-Star app while you put this on, okay? It's never overheated my device. It's never overheated. Some people might think, oh, only use one or the other because this acts as a dew, as a dew blocker. But no, you can, I've had my uh, dew... Uh, heater on while I have this that acts as a dew shield, you know, and it acts as a light pollution blocker. Uh, in addition, one of the reasons why you're going to want this is because um, it'll help lessen condensation on your lens, okay? 
And also remember that once you're done imaging for the night, and let's say it's been a cold night, if it's cold where you are, um, or even if it's not that cold, make sure that you don't put your cap, your dust cap back on your lens immediately because what's gonna happen is you have, remember, some dew on there, some condensation built up on your lens. You don't wanna immediately put your uh, dust cap on there, okay? You wanna wait a few minutes after you're done imaging, after you've brought your C-Star back indoors. You wanna wait a few minutes for it to kind of uh, get that condensation off, so to, to kind of dry off, right? And then you can put your dust cap on there and shut down your device, right, and close your device, so. Okay, so let's move on to the next accessory and that will be a Batnoff mask. Now, the whole point of the Batnoff mask is to get perfect focus with your C star. Have you ever noticed sometimes your stars come a little bit oval shaped? They look a little bit oval shaped instead of round. Well, one way to avoid that is to use a Batnoff mask. Now, I must say that in the C star app itself, when your stargazing mode is on, you press autofocus, it does a great job. It does do a great job, but you know, sometimes we want even better. We want even better. And that's where the batten off mask comes in to make sure that you have perfect focus. It also goes right on your C star, uh, fits nice and snug on there. And uh, what it is going to create when you're using this, which will come up on the screen, is that it creates a X graph with a line in the center, a line in the center. If that line is not in the center, what you're gonna wanna do is get it in the center. And that shows that you've uh, focused perfectly your star in the center. So what you're gonna do is step one, first have your C star pointing at a bright star, right? Such as Rigel, uh, Riggle, right? Beetlejuice, Sirius, the Neb, anything up there that's super bright, kind of high up in the sky, point it at there first, Open up your stargazing mode. Once you see the star, you're going to put on your batten off mask, okay? The graph will appear, will show up on your C star stargazing mode. Okay, give it a second. It might take a second for it to pop up. Once it pops up, you can actually zoom in as you're looking at the graph to make sure that you have perfect focus. Make sure that in your uh, advanced features, right, in your features on your C star app, you have your... Uh, focus panel on. So make sure your focus panel is on. And if you have that on, you're going to be able to do a manual focus with the up and down arrows to get that line from the graph straight in the center. Okay, so you want to zoom in, you can zoom in to your uh, to the actual app while you're recording and you can get that, you know, once you get that line in the center in, you know, right there, right dead center, that's when you know you've perfectly focused, okay? And you can use it at any time. If you feel like your images start going uh, out of focus or your stars are not round in your image round enough, either press the autofocus on your C star, you know, to continue your imaging or, you know, to get it even more perfect, use the batten off mask. So link in the description, like I said, to get this. Now, a super fun one that I wanna talk about. This is just fun. If you saw my uh, live, my last live, uh, broadcast that I did my last live stream I talked about these diffraction spikes and I actually showed them live in action okay and what happens with the diffraction spikes is if you want that classic star pointed look right you want to show your family and friends hey I imaged a star people might think it might be a little bit dull to image a star but it's actually super cool when they look like the classic star pointed look that we all know as a child when we think of stars right and if you want to show it to your family and friends it looks incredible, okay? So what you're gonna do is with these diffraction spikes, they go on super simple. You can have them on, by the way, uh, while you have your light pollution blocker, okay, your slash dew shield. You can have that on uh, your other accessories while you're using that. So just to let you know, uh, it's totally fine to do it that way. Okay, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna take that off. And just show you guys so when you put your diffraction spike on what happens is depending on the amount of spikes that are on your mask your diffraction spike mask that's how many stars are going to appear in your image okay as soon as you put it on note that it does take a couple minutes for it to appear on your stargazing page like to actually see the spikes pop up it takes it could take a couple of minutes for the c star to catch it but nonetheless, it's, it's going to come on there. And 
My favorite is using the one with the six spikes on it because, hey, the more spikes, the better. It's just cooler. It looks super cool. And you can use this as you're imaging any star uh, by itself or even when you're doing any star clusters uh, such as the Hyades and open cluster, things like that. You'll notice like it has several stars, a lot of stars. That's like your main thing in the picture. And they'll all have its own little, you know, classic little pointed look. It looks really cool. And moving along to one of my top top accessories i did not have this when i had just purchased my sea star but it made so much sense to get it and it's just changed completely my setup and it makes it nice and quick is you're going to want a leveler okay i'm gonna take it off right now this is just super super awesome and as you notice it goes on super easy and the whole point of the leveler is exactly what it sounds like to level uh, your C star and it just makes it so much quicker to get those if you recall in your C star app when you are doing the advanced features right and you hit the adjust level feature you have to get those green circles uh, right kind of in the center to coincide with each other because if if it's not if it's not right uh what usually people that start doing if you don't have a leveler is and what i would do before is i'd start moving the legs pushing the rubber caps to try to get the circles to coincide and it was just such a hassle it would take me forever i felt like i would spend 10 minutes just trying to like set it up and level it and this has completely eliminated that problem okay um some people think, oh, maybe I have to get the bubble, you know, the little bubble straight in the center. You don't have to worry even about that. Once you get this, you're going to see it has three of the bubble uh, levelers on there. You don't need to worry about that either. Once you have this on there, leave it on there. Don't take it off unless you're going to travel and you need to unpack your, you know, uh, pack your device. But I leave it on there always, 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 always. Okay, just leave it on there. Uh, you're going to put your C-Star right on top of there because you know the C-Star has uh, that, of course, and you can just uh, kind of screw it on there uh, nice and tight. And once you have that on there, it just makes your life easier because instead of leveling by adjusting the legs over and over again, all you have to do to adjust is move the little knobs, all right, until you get it leveled. And it's super, super easy, super quick. It's improved just the time. <laughs> Uh, that I spend on it, you know, I don't spend that much time on it anymore. Uh, it's super quick. And yeah, just leave it on there. Have your C-Star on there. Um, it's nice and tight. It's never falling off. It works perfect. It works absolutely great. Uh, and um, whenever you are, you need to pack and leave, just know that it does fit in the handy case that the C-Star already provides uh, when you get your C-Star you can fit everything in there, right? You can fit uh, your uh, leveler in there. So yeah, just as a heads up, note that. Um, yeah, it, it's it's just awesome. It is on my tripod 24 seven. If you have a taller tripod, some people buy taller tripods, totally fine. This is sort of like a one size fits all. Uh, you know, it is a one size fits all. So it should work with other tripods if you buy a bigger tripod as well. So uh, super handy make sure you get this i'm telling you it's gonna improve your setup you know it's gonna go from 10 minutes to like you know practically 30 seconds for you to adjust the leveling with the red knobs and get those green circles in the adjust c star level uh in your app super quick i like to get it at around 0 0.2 0 0.3 once it's at 0 0.2 or 3 uh, i think it's good you know um a hack that i'm going to talk about with leveling is uh that you're going to um, if you notice when you start imaging and as you, your C star starts moving to different objects, if you go back to your level, to the green circles, it might not be in the center anymore. It might've gone off. So I notice every time I'm switching objects, right, it goes off, um, or right when I've set up and I have it leveled, uh, it's good to go, but then I start moving my lens up or down. And have you noticed that as you're moving your lens up and down, your leveling is not in the center anymore. So your leveling is not in the center anymore. And so in order to avoid that, I would say when you turn on your C-star, just bring your lens up, right? Like I was showing a minute ago, bring your lens up to where you can see it. You know, you feel free to press your or to put in your 
uh, light pollution filter and go ahead and and go ahead and just uh, go to your leveling and adjust your leveling at that moment. Then you can start your imaging. Then you can start going to different objects because it's not going to be uh, the same if you uh, do it from when the lens is closed. Any movement, right, of the lens is going to kind of alter your setting a little bit or your leveling, your focusing, uh, your adjust level a little bit, okay? So just keep that in mind, a little hack that I like to do. I used to use the scenery mode every single time before when I would turn it on, go to scenery, move it up, and then adjust the leveling. But, you know, now that we have the new update where you can manually do the lens up and down, it's just awesome, saves time again, quick and easy. And let's move on. Last but not least, last but not least is, and it has multi-function use. Stay with me here, you're gonna love this. A portable charger, an external battery supply, so to speak, okay? This is super awesome, it's by Noco Boost. Uh, and basically, you guys know that your C-Star lasts about, or it says that it should last about six to eight hours uh, for you to use it. And sometimes, well, it just doesn't last that long. Um, even if you're not imaging for that long, but it won't last that long when you have your dew heater on, right? Because it's going to take up more juice, more power from your C-Star. So if you want your telescope to last longer, all you have to do is get an external battery uh, power supply, okay? And I will show it in action right now. With the cable that comes with your C-Star, all you're going to do, grab that same cable, you're going to put it in its USB, Okay, it's called the USB out. And then you're gonna plug it in straight to your C-Star. Okay, let's look at it in action. You see the red lights. My C-Star is pretty fully charged right now, but you're gonna see it start charging or stay charged. Okay, I plugged it in. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, it's on. And you will notice that uh, the light starts blinking. So it's keeping my device charging. As it's going, you can do this while you are imaging right that's the whole point that's the whole point you know uh is for you to be able to be using your c-star your imaging and you have your battery you make sure you're not you don't have to worry about your battery dying on your c-star right it going uh, out of battery or anything like that this will just keep it charged i actually want to get an even better one uh when you click on the links in the description you can get even more more uh, voltage, right? This one is a 12 volt, a thousand amps, but you can get an even better one with the other uh, with the other models that they have. And the reason why I say multi-use, check it out, check it out. This is actually also a flashlight. And I've even used that. Whenever you drop your, your accessories, it's happened to me, right? It's dark outside and I've dropped my accessories. And I can't find them. So immediately I'll grab my charger, right? Because remember this charger, or this battery power is on my C-Star, okay? Simultaneously, right? It's on while you're imaging. And I'll just, you know, point it and look for my devices or my accessories, excuse me, that have fallen. Uh, and, you know, make sure you just don't point it at your C-Star, right? While it's imaging. But yeah, it comes in super handy. It's just super uh, awesome. And not only that, there's another multifunction use. You can obviously charge your devices with this, right? You can charge your uh, phones and things like that. You're out in the middle of nowhere. You have no charge. You can use it for that. And even better, even better, you're not going to believe it. This acts as a jump starter, <laughs> jump start your battery for your car. Uh, that is pretty cool. That's actually the main reason why people buy this, but it's like I said, it's multifunctional. So I use it for my C-Star to, to, to keep my C-Star in power, right? And it comes with a really cool little case. And of course, it's going to come with your little charger because of course, you're going to have to charge your uh, battery power, right? So you just charge it regular, uh, put it into a USB uh, to keep this charged. And uh, one thing that I think that this is super important to have is because you can use it and put it in your go bag, right? If you have an emergency kit, an emergency bag for your family, you're going to need this, right? You can have it, keep it in your car, maybe buy two, one for your C-Star, one put, to put in your car, and you can use this for emergency, right? A natural disaster, 
your car, something doesn't work, right? You can jumpstart your car, your car battery, right? So multi-use, right? It's got its flashlight, all kinds of stuff. Uh, charge your devices. This is definitely, I think, indispensable. Everyone uh, should have one or even more than one of these with them. If you're enjoying this content, make sure you subscribe. That's a way to support this channel and to let me know that you want me to continue creating more videos, that you think this content is valuable. And you can also provide extra support by using the link in the description of Buy Me A Coffee. Thank you to all of you who have already done that. The whole point is to provide a small donation to the channel. It's super quick, super easy to use. No need to log in and sign up and all this stuff. Super simple. You can uh, support the channel that way. And what I'm gonna do with all those donations, guys, is that I'm going to upgrade everything that you see that I use, right? All my gear, uh, my, my cameras, uh, my computer, everything that I use to be able to bring everything to you. Uh, for all these videos, I'm going to upgrade my C-Star, right? There's so many things, yet more accessories, more things to use to show you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, the Astro Room, your very own portal to the cosmos. Thank you.